Hello there everybody and welcome to the unofficial Nintendo Cup from 2003 or 2004 that actually never happened. Um, so there you have it. Uh, against the Game Dreamer again. This is the our third time, third attempt, best 2 out of 3. Let's see how this goes. Those are the Pokemon that I have reserved for Game 2. As for Game 1, this is what I have. I have my Raikou, my Scizor and my Tauros. So, let's see how this is gonna go. That's the wireless girl, we want the cable girl. There you have it. So, let's see how this time the bell will go. Um, so, unofficial, because the official way are the double battles, as I mentioned before. So, Dreamer using Pokemon Sapphire, but we're sticking to Kanto because we are the Kanto boys. So, there you have it. He's gonna lead with his Moltres, his Ho-Oh. It's gonna make a comeback, and that's absolutely wonderful for me because I'm a, I'm a Raikou I'm definitely gonna predict him not to stay in because he wants to preserve his Moltres who doesn't want to preserve a Moltres so I'm gonna set up a sub and uh, see what he what kind of answers he has against my Raikou and um, if it's a good answer we just gonna attack but if it's a bad answer we're just gonna set up he goes into his uh, Meganium um, I'm like, oh, I remember this Meganium and this uh, nickname, so I'm just gonna start setting up coal mines. As he's gonna set up light screen, I see light screen, I remember the sets, is it the same sets? Let's find out. Plus two Raikou, it's not looking good for Dreamer whatsoever. He's gonna try to go for Solar Beam, but at plus two, I don't think it's gonna break the sub. Uh, I do have the Hidden Power Grass, I don't have Hidden Power Ice on this one because Swamperts are <laughs> everywhere. Every single person and his mama uses Swamperts in this metagame. Every single person, it's it's just it's just how it is, but there you have it. I'm still setting up Coal Mines, he's still going for Solar Beams. That's really bad, this is... Dreamer, listen to me, this is the worst. Meganium set. In the history of our sports, I'm, I don't hate Meganium. Meganium is a good Pokemon. He's better than Feraligator in Gen 2 and Gen 3 before the splits. Meganium is a good Pokemon, but this set, he just can't touch me whatsoever. Uh, he's gonna go for light screen again. I didn't go for sub, I went for a Calm Mind right away. I was super exposed, but I still went for Calm Mind because... What can he do to me? Worst Meganium in the history of our sports. Don't use this set again. Ever. Use the physical sets. Use Earthquake. Use something. Please. He's still going for Solar Beams. It's not doing much. Um, it's laughable. Absolutely laughable for Raikou. This is just unbelievable. But yeah, at that range plus the light screen, it's just doing a lot of damage. He's just stalling at this point. He can't do anything. There's absolutely nothing that he can't do about this. I think I got game one in the bag. So, um... Let's find out if he can bring this back in game 2, because things happen, especially if you use bad sets. I've used bad sets, like, my whole life I've been using bad sets, because they're fun to use, but sometimes they just cost you. I got a Paralysis from Thunderbolt, and the light screen will go out, I'm at plus 6, and not very effective, doesn't matter. That's gonna still finish off the Meganium, he's gonna send in his Sleep and Eat, his Snorlax, which is gonna be his level 55 for this team, but since I'm at plus 6, it's still not gonna kill because Snorlax is a beast. But Dreamer, instead of breaking my substitute, he's gonna set up a curse, I guess. Uh, yeah, a lot has happened, and uh, that costed him. It costed him big time. He, he just wasn't thinking at this point. You can't even blame him. You can't even blame him. And uh, his last Pokemon is his Ho-Oh, which is his Moltres, and... Can't take a super effective Thunderbolt. So anyways, game one, super one-sided. He didn't even get the chance to see my remaining Pokemon, which is Scizor with Source Dance and Baton Pass. And Baton Pass to who? To my last Pokemon, which is my level 55, the Tauros. Tauros is my level 55. And uh, I was trying to do something like that. But anyways, if he forces game uh, three, he's going to be up for a surprise because, again, he didn't see a lot of my other Pokemon. So anyways, game two, we are ready. We are using a Hariyama. First time I use Hariyama in Gen 3. Registeel and Kingdra. Kingdra is my level 55. He sets up a Rain Dance and he destroys lives. He breaks necks. 
He separates heads from bodies. That's the job of that king grab. But anyways, let's see if uh, Dreamer has a... Uh, if Dreamer will be able to force game uh, game three. Anyways, he leads with his Swampert. And uh, I'm gonna lead with my Hariyama. I'm gonna knock off. Because if he has a berry or leftovers, I just wanna get rid of them. It's super new school. Knock off is a super new school attack. You just see it everywhere in, in newer gens. And super rare in these older gens. But I just wanna use it. Because uh, we already have an item clause. If you get rid of an, uh, of an important item... Uh, you're golden. You're pretty much golden. So anyways, I have knock off clicked. He's thinking about this I'm gonna be faster. I'm gonna knock off his mystic water Interesting, so that's gonna make his hydro pump weaker, but he's gonna miss he used this exact same swampers last time And it's still missing but then again I also am gonna miss the cross chop, but his swampers is still missing hydro pumps I'm gonna be hitting this time and there's the Hydro Pump, it connects and it does a lot of damage because it's a crit. Redemption. You missed two, you got a crit. It did a lot of damage. Congratulations. I'm gonna Cross Chop again. Uh, cross Chop is supposed to have a high crit ratio, but it didn't get a crit. And the second Hydro Pump will finish off my Hariyama. So, first Pokemon that he takes down. Now I'm gonna send in my Registeel. Uh, I know it's a bad choice, but I wanna keep my Kingdra for last, because I still don't know his other Pokemon, his other two Pokemon, I'm gonna go for two Seismic Tosses, I know I can take a Stab Earthquake, because I'm pretty sure he's not like Max Attack or Banded or anything like that, so yeah, I'm gonna be able to take the, the hit really well, and uh, basically uh, finish off the Quagsire, see uh, at least one of his Pokemon, and then hopefully Kingdra will get the job done so let's find out dreamer is super thinking about it he really wants to force game three but is he gonna be able to do it that's uh that's how it is so he's uh, apparently in a tough situation he's been telling to me while on on the call but i don't know i only lost it's it's me that lost a pokemon not you so i don't know why you have to overthink about this but anyways uh, there's the Seismic Toss, it's a 2 hit KO, because it only does 50 damage since we are level 50. The Earthquake Stab, I knew I was going to be able to take it. And, uh, yeah, there you go. The second Seismic Toss will finish off the Quagsire. The, not Quagsire, the Swampers. <sighs> Stop doing that. You have to nickname things the wrong way. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't, it's okay. <laughs> Just do whatever you want. But anyways, uh... Two Pokemon left. What is he gonna decide to do? What does he have to take on my Registeel and his uh, clear body? I I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Dreamer, what do you have for us? Please let us know. Um, is it gonna? Uh, do you guys believe in Game Three? I don't know. Let's find out. I don't trust the game Dreamer and his luck. He always gets random crits, random flinches, and. Uh, you never know. So get yourself a Dragonite. He's gonna bring back the Dragonite from last time. Oh my god. I know this thing is gonna set up, so I'm just gonna try to toxic it. And uh, if he wants to go super crazy, I'm gonna start spamming Seismic Tosses and the Toxic will do more damage every turn. So luckily we do have the Kingdra and uh, I tried to rest. I don't know. I thought I could have taken one hit, but he's at level 55. And he's a Dragonite. Get yourself a Dragonite. You want to win? Get yourself a Dragonite. That's, that's all I gotta say, man. But my last is a level 55 Kingdra. Can my Kingdra take a stab attack or a plus one something? He's gonna go for plus one Earthquake. Kingdra is able to take it. It's gonna set up the rain dance. The Dragonite is a plus one, but Swift Swim is gonna double my speed. And luckily, I do have the Ice Beam, and Kingdra is gonna be the savior. You need to be a man, a real man, to actually stop a Dragonite from destroying your life. And now, your last Pokemon, one versus one. It's an Agron. But luckily, luckily for me, I don't have to rely on Hydro Pump because I have Surf, and it's boosted by the rain. And this is pretty much gonna be it. Unfortunately, Dreamer is not going to be able to force game 3, and this is going to be the game. So, yeah, victory for us. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day, and allons-y.